Here's a three minute mastery from module one, Common Rocks and Minerals. Uh, here we're going to talk about the earth beneath our feet and get an introduction to the planet that we live on. So here we have a cutaway of the planet earth. We'll start at the outside and work our way in. We have an atmosphere which is a couple of miles thick. We have a crust which we'll talk about more in just a moment. We have a mantle which is several hundred miles thick. Uh, beneath that we have a molten metal outer core and then a solid metal inner core. It's this crust that we will spend most of our time with uh, dealing with this semester. You can see here that we've got two types of crust, the continental crust and the oceanic crust. I will tell you that the continental crust is about 20 to 30 miles thick and the oceanic crust is anywhere from three to six miles thick. I guess I'd like to know why do you think the thicknesses are so different? Think about that and let me know. We can see that the crust is broken up into several different plates. This is the theory of plate tectonics and it discusses plate tectonic shift as well. I will tell you that this was not accepted as a valid theory until the mid 1970s. So we've got several plates here, right? The North American, the South American, Eurasian, African, Indian, Australian, uh, the, the Antarctic plate, the Pacific plate, and so on and so on. And you can see that there are several others as well. Uh, these plates shift against one another. They move with respect to one another. Uh, anytime that two plates meet, we have what's known as a subduction zone. So I'm just going to trace this line along a random path. And this will follow a subduction zone. Um, and that might be... So I've encircled the Eurasian plate. And uh, as the Eurasian plate moves against the North American plate, one of a couple of things will happen. Either these two plates will move toward one another and one will under will move underneath one, or they will move apart from one another, or they will slip against one another. In the case of one crust moving underneath one another, we get an example like this. In the case of two plates spreading apart, we get an example like this. When we've got some sort of lateral motion, uh, you might end up with something like this. Uh, I see that they're depicted as showing moving apart here, but we could just as easily uh, find that they're moving laterally with one another as well. And in fact, that's what happens in the San Andreas Fault. Whenever we've got a, a subduction zone or an area where two plates meet, uh, we end up with other features as well. So notice we've got mountains, uh, and this happens because there are deformations that occur underneath the surface as well as on top of the surface anytime that subduction occurs. And I will tell you that subduction motion is anywhere from 2 to 8 centimeters per year. So what I'd like you to do for your note section is think about why there are such drastic differences uh, between the oceanic and continental crust.